Hi everyone, it's Adrian Leah. For this video, I wanted to do a simple tutorial on my Earth Fairy Tarot Medicine Bundle. So this is the medicine bundle that I made. And I wanted it to be this color because it's my favorite yarn color, which is a Red Heart Medium Time. I love making medicine bundles. I sometimes make it make them like this. So this is more of a macrame version of the medicine bundle. And this one isn't one that you can open up. So the contents in here are for specific purposes. This is actually for my goddess and uh, the Morgan. So this one is adjustable and you don't have to cut anything for this until the very end. So I kept it simple. You can definitely add some ornaments on but I wanted, to, I wanted it to be plain because I do have a lot of jewelry on, so I also wanted it to be something that I can wear with different clothing too. So I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. And I'm a lefty, but for this video, I'm going to crochet, crochet with my right hand. I'm not going to do all the crocheting on video. And I also wanted this to be something that I can add to my deck when I ship my decks out and I have different things that I can incorporate into it as a small gift. So my deck is the Earth Fairy Tarot and I love creating things so I feel like it's the Fae in me because Fae appreciate the ability to handcraft something. And before I get started this with this video, I'm sorry, this is a long intro. I wanted to show my tarot tin that I revealed on my Instagram, but I didn't reveal on my YouTube channel. So this is my tarot tin, the Earth Fairy Tarot, and there's my name. So that's my last name. And sorry. This is the deck back. I'm planning on doing a PDF guidebook too. For uh this is my late cat Kiki. <laughs> So, you're gonna make a slip knot. This is how I make it. I, I bring the yarn up like that after I cross them over. And you're going to chain seven. So you, you can twist your hook like this and then bring your yarn into the hole.
So it does seem really small, but if it's going to be around your neck, I don't think I would want it to be so big, but you can make it bigger. This is going to be the bottom. And you can also use uh, cotton yarn or bamboo cotton yarn in the third hole you can put in three and if you want you can put it in the back too where the bump is three half double crochet I'm sorry because on the other side you're going to add seven so for a half double crochet you can yarn over and then put your hook into the hole pull on the yarn I'm sorry if you can't see and then you have three then you can yarn over and then do that so again So then in the last hook you can add seven because it's going to go around. So there's the seven in that hole. So you can see all the pet hair and you can hear my pets. I have two huskies and then two cats. So with this leftover yarn, you can incorporate it into your work because we're gonna do half double crochets on the other side like this and the yarn is already tucked in. And then for the last chain, you can do three more. Three uh, half double crochets. So it completes the round. And then you can slip stitch. So from the beginning you get the first stitch and then you bring your yarn in and then you bring it in like that. So the rest is 
really easy. I'm not going to chain one and then start a new row. I'm just going to go round, and that's going to that could be symbolic for some people if they're doing it more for a metaphysical purpose. But if you're not, then you could do separate rows. So I'm just going to keep doing half double crochets and instead of doing the uh, ones on top, I'm, I'm putting the half double crochet into the third bump in the back. So if you turn your work, you could see that. So I'll do an example and then I'm going to do it off camera. You can go as many rows as you want. I'd say around 13 should be around the size that I did. Because I did it more intuitively and it seems decent. I didn't do uh, more spacing for putting the yarn in for this part for when it closes but you can do that and when I get to that point I'll talk about it so just to check back in this is what I have so far so this is the inside it kind of reminds me of a nest but it seems like it's not holy so stuff won't come out of it but I would recommend if you're putting herbs in here to do maybe a uh, tight hole flowers. So going into my next row, this was the first row that I did going up besides the bottom. I'm just going to keep going in the round. And to Once you feel like you're done, uh, or towards the place where you want to put the string in, you could do a half double crochet, then chain one, then skip a chain, so spacing in between, and then put another half double crochet. But I feel like with crochet, it does have spaces so I don't want stuff coming out and I want it to be as enclosed as I can get it so I didn't add any so this is what I have so far and it's about the halfway point sorry there's so much hair to this one about actually about two-thirds of the way that I did the first time So I finished the bag part, or the bundle part, it's just about the same size as this, a little larger, which is fine. So I usually eye it, so I scrunch it up right here where I would like the band tightening band part to be and this is subjective of where you would like it but I usually put it around this area so this part's really easy we're just going to keep chaining and the chaining is also making the necklace part 
And what I like to do is, so I have the bag fully opened. I keep chaining, uh, I'll, I'll chain it and then I'll give an example. So for my chains, I keep the bag open and to make sure I have enough yarn or chains for the bag, I wrap it around both sides. So this is the part, I'm sorry, that's my husky, one of my huskies. I just wanna make sure that I have enough for the bag and this doesn't count as part of the necklace part. So you could even wrap it around yourself to see how long you want it. I usually make it a little longer and then I do um, the slip knot like I do in the beginning, except for my necklace part and I'll get to that when I finish this. So I finished chaining. Now I'm just going to tie off the end. So the chain doesn't come undone. Now you have this, so wherever you want to put the chain, or yeah, put the chain, I want to put it around the third row. So I, from the inside, that's where I tuck it in so that you don't really see the outside of where it started from the top. and you just weave it in and out of the chains, or I'm sorry, the um, half double crochets, like that. I'm sorry I keep pausing it, um, I'm, I run out of time <laughs> on my phone, so. So, for the, chain that you tucked in at first, you can sew that in just to make sure it's secure so when you tighten it, it doesn't um, tighten it enough for this to cave in on itself, but I haven't had that problem. So I went weaved in and out with my chain, and now I can go on the opposite side and there's an opening here. I can go in through here. So that it wraps on both ends. I did add a little more length to the chain to make sure that I can adjust it by doing tying it on this side. Or even if I want to just tighten it like this. So you can just tie a knot here. You don't have to do it too tight because the contents I don't think will be very heavy. You could do it twice if you want. And my husky gets upset when I start doing something that he's not involved in, so that's why he's crying. So I tied this part and you can adjust it on the other side like this. This is the Earth Fairy Tarot Medicine Bundle. Sorry, I pulled too hard.
I'll just hold it when I tighten it. Hold the middle while I tighten it for this one. And it can fit a good amount of stuff that you find out in nature. Or if you want to put other things in here too, you can. Like a crystal. But I feel like this is so handy to have. And it's nice to carry some of the stuff that maybe you want the essence of, or it could be something that has to do with a memory that you have. So I hope that I didn't miss too many instructions. I'm sorry I kept pausing in and out. Um, I need to delete a lot of stuff off of this phone. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got decent visuals because it wasn't the closest for a crochet tutorial. I'll see you guys in another video. And let me know if you want to see any more fairy craft videos too. Thank you.